Let's turn to the sky-high cost of cable television, up a staggering, staggering 77% just since 1996. That's double the rate of inflation. Well, now the Federal Communications Commission chair, like many consumers, is fed up, saying in a hearing Wednesday that subscribers should have more choice, especially for the amount of money they spend. Consumer correspondent Elizabeth Leamy is live with us this morning in Washington. She has more. Good morning, Elizabeth. Morning, Chris. Here's the thing. Studies show most Americans only watch about 15 channels, and yet they're forced to buy about 100 channels of basic cable because of the way the industry bundles channels together. Well, look who decided to show. You might remember the infamous cable guy, played by Jim Carrey. I can be your best friend or your worst enemy. Some people consider the cable company their enemy. The bills are definitely going up. And I think it's too much. It's not worth the money. American cable customers pay an average of about $60 a month. And you know how it works. If you want to watch the Weather Channel, you have to buy all these other channels you may never watch. An average family has very little choice over what channels are included, yet they're having to pay more and more for those same channels. In fact, most other technology products have gone down in price, while cable bills just keep going up. Most cable companies enjoy kind of regional fiefdoms where there's not very much else out there in terms of other providers. I definitely wish I could pay less because I probably only watch 10% of the channels that I get. FCC Chairman Kevin Martin says he would like to see just that, a la carte pricing. Some Canadian companies already offer it. I think consumers would dramatically benefit by having the additional choice. Canadian customers pay about $13 for the basics. Then they can pick and choose another 15 channels for $17 or another 30 channels for less than a dollar a piece. We know right now that you can get good value for a huge variety of, of channels. The cable industry says a la carte pricing will raise consumer costs. It's the comparison between having a buffet or ordering lots of sides. Sides always cost you more. The industry says less popular channels would be forced to lower their advertising rates and consumers would have to make up the difference with higher subscription fees. The industry goes on to say that the government could end up giving consumers fewer choices because smaller niche channels could be put out of business. In a